This is a mindfulness exercise for supporting our brain and our body for creating space from an emotional state. So often our thinking brain runs away with us when we have feelings. And so having a mindful, loving practice of being in relationship with the energy of emotions is a really empowering part of the healing journey. As always, I invite you to welcome in that soothing, havening touch to help create a space of comfort and ease as you participate in this exercise. Starting with your hands on the tippy top of your shoulders and moving down your arms to your elbows in a gentle moving hug, palm to palm as though you're washing your hands under warm water, or brushing your fingertips across your brow or circling underneath your eyes. Those four soothing touches used together or pick just one will deepen this energetic exercise. So let's take a moment and begin with some gentle breathing, turning your attention inward and invite your mind to float from the tippy top of your head down to the tippy toes of your toes and notice if there's any energy that is pulling your attention towards it in either your mind or your body. And if it's supportive, you can even imagine that you're greeting each body location as you check in on it. Noticing your shoulders, noticing your sit bones, your knees, all the way down to your toes. Now invite your mind to notice that identified energetic state or simply take a moment and invite your mind to drift back across the previous day and notice if there's any emotional states that are drawing your attention. They may be positive, neutral, or negative. Just something that is waving at you saying, hey, I'm here. And let's welcome in a gentle, soothing breath and invite that energetic experience to become the front and center of your awareness. If you start to notice different emotions or even thoughts showing up, identify just one that is going to be your focus for this brief exercise. Once you've identified that one, I invite you to bring it again to the front and center of your awareness, continuing a gentle, soothing breath in and out with that healing, havening touch. And notice the color of this particular emotional state bright red or dusky rose, a lemony yellow, perhaps a soothing green or an aqua blue. Invite that color to be known within you right now. And now if this energetic state had a weight even a tangible presence, what would it feel like to hold it or to reach out and touch it? Would it be heavy or light? Cool to the touch or warm? Now you might notice again that your thoughts start coming on board as you're deepening your relationship with this energetic state. Your mind might start telling you stories about why this emotion is present. 
Invite those thoughts to gently step back or even float away as though they're balloons because the thoughts are the ways that your mind are making sense of this energy, but the emotion itself, it's simply a data point, an energetic construct. Return your focus to that emotional state. Invite your mind to notice the color physical presence of it where does it live in your mind or your body as you deepen your awareness does it have a movement or emotion you might even notice that it moves in your body the closer you attend to it and invite your mind to move with it where is it going Stay connected to this energetic experience, letting it know you see it, perhaps even sending a gentle, loving message towards it. I see you. I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing your energetic experience with me. And as you continue to notice this energy, notice how it is not encompassing you, but you are observing it. So often our feelings can become all consuming in our mind and in our thoughts and in truth. Feelings are simple little emotional balls of energy there to give us data and help us live our best, most empowered lives, even though it may not feel that way all the time. And as you notice this emotional space and where it is, it's beautifully colored, energetic self. Now turn your attention to another location in your body that isn't feeling this energy. Notice the ability to separate the two. As we are not our feelings. Our feelings are important and empowering constructs that allow us to live and be vibrant they don't get to consume us. It is often our thoughts that begin to tell the big tales that make them so big and make them feel so heavy, so consuming. And in truth, we all hold within us the power and the opportunity to separate, to observe and allow for our emotions to exist healthfully and vibrantly within us. And as we bring this loving mindfulness exercise to a close, if you notice that there is some energetic engagement that's shown up, I invite you to take a moment and do that CPR for the amygdala exercise. Any energetic engagement, reactivity, is your brain letting you know that something got triggered it might belong to the past or even the here and now and that is your little friend amy the amygdala waving a little flag saying i need a little extra love right now if you're not familiar with that cpr for the amygdala you'll find it right here on that playlist or simply search CPR for the amygdala and you'll find a guided exercise to link right into. It is a joy being a part of your healing journey. Greet your emotions as friends. They are powerful parts of living your most empowered life. And I'll see you soon.